Design Worker Storytelling. Yang Yo Ryu, October 2012, plmis.tstory.com. Our main task is not to try to see what is difficult to see at a distance, but to practice what is clearly visible right in front of us. Thomas Carlyle. I am reading Dale Carnegie's theory of self-management on my business trip to Boston. The first page says, be faithful to today. Looking at the title again, how to stop worrying and start living. The title implies that stopping worrying and starting living is an important factor in self-management. Sir William Osler, founder of the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, said that to remove worry from his life, shut the iron doors on the past and the future, live in day-tight compartments, close the past and future with iron gates, live faithfully today. In other words, since he emphasized the meaning that only today can be recorded, he must be a pioneer. The past has already been concluded and the future is only a prediction. Above all, I am trying hard to live today, but I have put off today's work to tomorrow, and there have been times when I couldn't see the work piled up in front of my eyes, so I had to deal with it even late. What do I have in thinking about what to write for the readers? I am sometimes uncomfortable with the thought of how my story will help others, but I would like to record it with the pleasure of being able to record my own record through this column. Chapter 1. Philosophy of Design Engineers. Design, engineering, I'm talking about design, but the designer we commonly talk about will be defined as styling. In the early 1990s, I thought mechanical design was a promising job, so I designed jig tools and learned milling. Entering my first job after only vaguely tasting it, there were more things I wanted to do than I thought. The first assignment was to create a 3D layout of the driver's seat of a car drawn on blueprints of Qingdao, which smells like ammonia from Japan. I didn't know what it was and only knew how to handle AutoCAD, so I started after thinking about it for a day. If you think about it now, it would be simple to ask a senior. Why was it like that in the first place? I wasn't used to asking questions like a student taking an exam. The drawing was fixed on the drafting board, and the section dimensions of the section were measured using a round ruler, and the dimensions were entered. It was fun, so I lived with the drafting board for three days. After that, I made a drawing in AutoCAD and moved it to a three-dimensional array by section. After I finished, I realized that what I was drawing was nonsense. When I asked what the standard was, the man came to the top. When I felt that it was nothing more than a drawing, not a design, I felt cold sweat on my back, and soon I lost my temper, and I was in a state of waiting to decide what to order next. After the testing process, I was entrusted with the official mass production design, it is an important part, and it was to revise the drawing and issue the design change after the consultation on the design change was over. I don't know how it is now, but at the time, the pride of design was great, so I had a lot of pride. The drawing has been revised and is ready for approval in print. My heart is proud for a while. The design manager asked me about other things besides the changed part of the design change drawing. For a moment, I didn't look closely at what this part was doing. I just changed the design as instructed, but the design manager rejected the first round to find out again. The next time I figured it out and looked at it. Third, fourth. Until the twelfth. Now I have comebacks, my pride is hurt, and I'm annoyed, but I thought about quitting for a while. I wanted to make fun of me for something. In the end, I went to the fifteenth car and gave my approval. At the same time, I almost cried when he asked me how it was to feel the words that it is important to learn patience and to learn how to teach easily. After such a harsh design declaration ceremony, in the second year, there were many guest prayers. As if you know the whole world. Then, after making a huge mistake, I was heartbroken. After drawing the prototype in 2D, I designed the bead for strength reinforcement in the opposite direction and sent it down to the trial room. After receiving the sample, I couldn't assemble it. A person in the starting room said, Ryugi saw, I can rework it. That's how I got to know him, and I made sure to go to the starting room to ask for advice before releasing the drawings. Thanks to this, design mistakes are also reduced. After something so important that this kind of thing happened, my thoughts on design changed a lot. There was a case where parts were replaced and applied to reduce cost, but I applied it without a doubt according to the instructions that it had already been verified and could be replaced, 
but, alas, I did not see it with my own eyes. On the way home from work, when I saw the products in stock on the line, oops. I had to leave work three hours later that day, and after working hard with my coworker, I put the parts back to before the design change and urgently put the design change on hold. After going through these things, I felt the pride of having my name, drawn by Kim Amyuji, written on the design drawings, and at the same time, I felt that the profession of design should contain philosophy and soul, thinking that it entails unlimited responsibility. Now, the design environment has changed a lot, and the old stories are probably only in classic books. I hung it up all night with a pen plotter and hung it up to output it, and when I went to work in the morning, there was a time when I drew a landscape painting because the manila paper was tangled, and now it's just a memory. Chapter 2. Beyond Design. There is nothing to learn and throw away. Watching the sunset over the golden fields in autumn through the window, I sometimes fell into romance. While designing, I've learned that the knowledge gained by running on site is much more valuable than the one gained by struggling with CAD and drawings. Rather than saying, do according to the drawing, if you go to the site and check the phenomenon with your own eyes, you can be reborn as living information. There are advantages to upgrading. A foreign design engineer visited Korea to conduct a project with a Detroit global company and verify the sample. I'm watching with interest that something special method or technique will be shown, but I am again amazed at the principle and simplicity of the designer. After printing the drawing on a one-to-one -one scale, it was glued onto cardboard, and then compared directly to the cross-section of the sample to compare the differences between the drawing and the object. While designing, I sometimes supported the work of other departments, but at that time, I had a lot of antipathy. I was busy designing, but I was dissatisfied with working twice as much, helping other departments. In particular, I naturally learned about the layout of production technology-related lines and how to work, and with production management, I was able to indirectly learn about delivery-related material dispensing, which had a great impact on my life later. There is nothing to learn and throw away. The precious truth and the experience gained in the field became the foundation for living while cherishing forever. If you ask me how the Pythagorean theorem affects my life, I have no doubt that it will affect me indirectly, though not directly. Chapter 3. Creative. I think the most important thing is to be creative. Ideas constantly springing up and a positive mindset double the joy of working. When I was designing, there were times when I couldn't come up with a good idea all day, so I thought and thought about it, but after work, I came up with a brilliant idea in my dream. At times like this, I sometimes wake up early, but after sitting in the office alone at dawn, sketching or completing a blueprint with an idea that came to my mind, I feel joy without even realizing it. I sometimes go crazy with my work, but I need to have fun like this to feel energized in the exhausting design work. At some point, when I feel the limitations of the design and have a hard time, I still sometimes think that I wish I had a mentor by my side. Maybe, I'm still thinking about designing as a vocation. I am always grateful for going to work early in the morning and being creative, which I got while designing, and which has remained a valuable habit for me. I went to work today and I'm grateful that I have something to do and that I can help someone. To get to the top, start at the bottom, P. Sirs. To start from the lowest, I think the starting point is creative. No matter what you do, you have your own color, and although it is currently invisible, you will be able to reach the best if you move forward with your own color until the light shines someday. Chapter 5. When you get lemons, make lemonades. These were the words of Julius Rosenwald, former president of Sears Roebuck. Living life and having results as insignificant as lemons, I get discouraged. When a wise man receives a lemon, he says, what lessons should we learn from this misfortune? What can be done to improve the current situation? How can I turn lemon into lemonade? Quoted from Dale Carnegie, Theory of Self-Management. After leaving the life of a design worker and changing the river and mountain, I can feel what this means with my skin. That this is a business. I first heard the word, recliner, from my professor when I was in my senior year of college and took my first step into society. Automotive seat design, which has become my field of design expertise, is designed to provide a comfortable position and a sense of safety and convenience to the driver. It takes a lot of effort. 
I am always in the position of a driver, but it was not easy to completely forget about that and connect the experience I learned from driving to design work. After all, work is accompanied by anguish, pain, and joy, and if anguish and pain are compared to lemons, joy is probably lemonade. Around three months after I joined my first job, when the parts for the driver's seat of my first favorite car, the Avante, were approved by the OEM, the boss seemed to be in a good mood. It seems to be the first living little shark in my life, but I saw it playing in the restaurant fish tank. After a while it was dismantled and placed on our table. Memories of the savory taste that melts away the moment you put on one piece still remain in your mind. At that time, it was in the early days of joining the company, so I could not see the future as I did not know what it was and fearlessly burned my body. At the time, my design tutor was the best design veteran because he was fluent in Japanese, majored in molds, and had experience in mold work. By the way, the shooter suddenly moved to another place, so he couldn't properly pass on the knowledge, but he would think that he passed on everything while he left. The problem is that I was a beginner at the time, so I think it was not enough to digest a lot of valuable content. Chapter 6. Failure, Struggle, Regret. Liz Taylor said that youth is failure, middle age is struggle, and old age is regret. If you apply this to the life of a design worker, a young design worker has to go through many failures. Various attempts have a great influence on the perspective and future direction. Then, when you enter middle age, you struggle, or struggle. Then, when I place Django during a handshake, I feel regret and anguish when the product I designed goes out into the world, just as a mother conceives a child. The bus has already left, and you will continue to take the pain with you. Of course, it was the best at the time. So, it seems that people were more enthusiastic about Steve Jobs. With focus on new creations, love and hate, passion, and charisma, I tormented many people to make products that would be liked from the user's point of view better. Thanks to that, the products he created are still loved by many people. I think I was lucky when I first started designing. Rather than high-speed communication like smartphones as of now, analog through phone, document delivery by person. Thanks to that, I had a lot of time to invest in product design, and I think I had some spare time. Chapter 7. Destiny vs. Destiny Fluke. Vincent Goh said that human beings must resolutely accept the fate of reality. He said that all the truth is hidden there. Liz Taylor also said that those who are consistent believe in fate, and those who are capricious believe in luck. Which one am I? If you believe in luck, you will buy a lottery ticket, and if you believe in destiny, you will be faithful to today, not yesterday or tomorrow. I don't know anything else, but these two friends are my destiny. Already this little boy has grown up to be a 15-year-old puberty boy, and he is talking about his own world. So, I asked his son. What do you prefer between fate and luck? Dad was talking about that time. It's different now. Carrot luckily. Is your job fun? Chapter 8. Not just digitally. You have to experience it yourself. It is nagging to say that design work is more arduous than other jobs. Sometimes when it's hard and exhausting, the shelter talks to the system. Windows OS has become common now, and Unix has almost disappeared, but 15 years ago, it was recognized that design was only possible on Unix systems because of stability, and important CAD programs operated in Unix environments. At that time, analog and digital were used simultaneously, but my older generation said that when designing using a drafting board, the error rate was lower than when designing digitally. That's true, but it couldn't keep up with the times because it couldn't keep up with digital in terms of efficiency and reuse. Therefore, after drawing the basic layout in CAD, it was possible to instill quite a sense of pride in the work of reviewing the basic structure and technology with tape drawing using various colors after printing it out. Even after a long time has passed, I think it is a great fortune for the analog generation that the memories and experiences of analog at that time help a lot in work and life. When I was a freshman in design, I remember printing a development drawing of a press product design on paper and cutting it out to make a 3D shape. Close your eyes and visualize the 3D enhancement in your head. Then you can get a sense of whether the product will actually be molded. When I was dispatched for a car, the president of a prototype mold company came to me and asked me about the design intention. 
After explaining it diligently, he sighed and said, I understand, but these days I often go up the back mountain. When I asked him why, he said that he did it to calm his mind because there are many cases where he requests prototypes with drawings that don't work well for plastic surgery. After that happened, I asked for advice on whether there would be any problems with product molding when creating design drawings. Thanks to this, the number of design changes due to molding problems in the future has been reduced because the design was designed with a little bit of mold in mind when designing. Of course, 3D CAD also helped, but the importance of analog communication cannot be overemphasized. Chapter 9. From a bookmaker to a ballsmith. I went through IMF when the water rose in the design to some extent. As I encountered events that would be a turning point in my design experience, I rediscovered what design was all about. To the extent that there is no time to sit down after work, I go around to identify and analyze problems in the field, sketch problems and identify causes, and spend only 10% of my time touching CAD. The rest of the time, you need to see the life cycle that a product is made of. So, is the product I designed really made the way I want it to be? The product was made properly by field experts after trial and error, but it is not reflected in the blueprint inside and I am not aware of it yet. As a result, when there is still a problem with the drawing I am designing. Another experience is going to the site and assembling the product I designed. So, understanding the difficulties of the field is the starting point of many quality improvements. That it's the way to build the least amount of pride I can keep. The shortcut to good design is to write a lot, see a lot, and listen a lot. Chapter 10. From Engineer to Pre-Sales. As the life of a craftsman continued for a long time, and when I felt the boredom of a life of working 364 days a year, I met an opportunity to quietly enter into another path of choice. I'd like to tell you that story next month. That's all for today. I went to work today and I'm grateful that I have something to do and that I can help someone.